So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse and 801 in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Remember, challenges are over. They've been over since week 10, and we're already in... I don't even know what week we are, but we're super far in. I mean, like, next week is the last week of this season. So make sure you finish your challenges and all that stuff. But let's just get into it. So the first one is Breezy Clear for the shader. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the shader, uh, if I remember correctly, if it'll ever fucking load. Yeah, it's it's a very beachy vibe. Um, I'm just like, whatever's on it. We have Colio Petra or Colio Pet, Pet, whatever. Uh, this is a pretty cool shader, actually. I would just switch the, the hoodie for something else just because I don't want that much glow. But it is really cool. We have a uh, cannon fodder, which is, you know, yeah. Uh, Vigil for Saint 14 for Vigilance Swing. This one is a pretty good ornament. I actually really like this ornament quite a bit. I don't know if this is the one I use. I think this is the one I use actually. Um, yeah, it's really good. I really like that one a lot. Uh, red light, green light. You actually activate the red, that's cool. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Infinite Quiver, which is the one with the purple, cool purple shader. Unfortunately, we don't have that shader yet. Hopefully, they'll sell it soon because I'm not paying for that shit. Um, Wasteland Racer, which looks pretty cool. We have Fl Blight or Flight, which... Man, I kind of wish I got these pieces because they do look cool. It remind me of... Um, that one grenade launcher that everyone loves, including myself. We have Caliban's hand, the nucleosynthetic sheath, which looks amazing. I'm currently wearing them and I love them. I'm definitely going to have uh, a video just showcasing the armor that I made. It's going to be a short, but it'll be short for the, for those of you who do not like my long winded videos, because apparently a lot of you don't, or just let me know how you guys feel about it. But yeah, we have glow stick dance looks goofy we have hoverboard oh this one has an animation to get off that's cool and then for the stuff at the bottom we have ossified entrance we have up in smoke And then uh, Traveler's Wake effects. It's bright as fuck, bro. For the shaders, we have Time Honored. I've actually used this shader quite a bit. It's really, really cool. We have Atmospheric Glow. This is a really good green. I like this green a lot. Um, just be aware that there's a green. This one right here, the light green. That's the only thing I don't like about it. We have uh, Chrome Stock, which looks pretty cool. And then the Metropolitan Acoustics, which I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Also, Titans and Warlocks, don't worry. I did not forget about your pieces. It's actually these right here. I'll show you right now because uh, they look really, really cool. And I have made sets for them as well. But I will save those for the video. Um, it's for Abeyant Leap, specifically the, uh, the tactical looking one. This one right here. So if you are interested, definitely get these. I actually think these are really cool. And definitely change the Abeyant Leap's like base look so much that it does give it a new look. Again, I made it a whole tactical look for it because that's just the vibe I get from it. And then for Warlocks, I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't really care about it, but I still got it just in case. And I still made a set for it, even though I'm not the biggest fan of it. The Tyrion Gloves. And the reason I'm not the biggest fan of it is because this purple does not change color. Um... Yeah, whoever at Bungie just does not like changing colors, like, who hurt you, bro? Like, stop it. Get some help. So, if you are interested in some of these, definitely pick them up. I mean, I, I don't hate it. Like, it looks cool. It's just the purple, purple that doesn't change color that really pisses me off. That's the only thing. Uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, 801. So, let's go to 801 real quick, and then we'll call it an episode. So, we have Genotype Null Zero. I love this shader. This shader's one of my favorite shaders uh, from Warmind, just because... A, the activity was actually really cool at the time uh, if you had people to do it with and you got like armor and a shader all for an event that was like a world event essentially so I definitely think this is cool we have the new Pacific rush shader I definitely think it looks cool with the armor set that I have now yeah I definitely look 
super dope with it. I don't know, man. I like this set a lot. I think I'll switch the helmet out for something else, but this set is really cool, especially with the shader. And then Dead Orbit's Fate, which this is a really good black and white shader if you're interested. Um, just be aware that it is, it is black and white. Unless you find certain pieces that are just the black, that is going to be really cool. But there's definitely better blacks out there now. As for the armor set, it's going to be right here. I'm going to go and check the armor because I actually don't remember how this armor looks like, especially for the Titans and Warlocks. I have a general idea, but I don't know if it's the one that's in my head right now. Uh, okay, so Hunters, I think the helmet can definitely be used. Just be aware that the helmet doesn't change color, specifically like not the O in the front, but like the thing holding the O, that doesn't change color. There's, pe there's a lot of pieces that don't change color from this. Let me just be real with you. The arms are, I think the arms are like really weird. Uh, chest pieces, I think is the best piece from the whole set. I think the boots are okay. And then the cloak is pretty trash. Titans, I actually think the helmet is pretty interesting if you go for like a robot look, especially the, the, especially the arms, the chest piece as well. I think all of it is just really like cool robotic look. So you can definitely do it for that. But I, I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan of like the mark and the boots are just kind of like whatever's to me. And then Warlocks, um, that helmet is trash. Those arms are trash. That chest piece is trash. Those boots are trash. And the bond I use for like electrical looks. So that's like the only good piece. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Eververse or 801. I definitely think some of the shaders are worth picking up. I think the armor you can definitely skip out. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.